Gathered to discuss the proposed voyage around the world, we meet the most influential members of the Institute of Incoherent Geography. President Paul Hunter announces the arrival of engineer Krizilovt, originator of a marvelous scheme. Krizilovt explains his project which will employ every known means of locomotion. Railroads, automobiles, dirigible balloons, submarines, boats, etc. The Institute enthusiastically votes to proceed with the unparalleled plan. The interior of a machine shop in full blast. Crazy Loft is plunged into algebraic calculations. The servant brings him his breakfast. But Crazy Loft is exasperated by his insistence. Members of the projected expedition arrive to examine the progress of the work. Crazy Loft shows them a unique trend of his own invention. A submarine boat perfected, an ice box and a thousand other accessories, the purpose of which we will explain later. In another part of the shop, Krizilov showed them the casting of a colossal piece of machinery. Standing too near, Mrs. Paul Hunter is suffocated by the smoke and faints. Somebody calls for water. The lady comes to her senses, wet and hungry. Preparations are complete. The members of the expedition go and purchase their tickets on the Paris to Sun line.
Everybody embarks in the train. Two laggards arrive just in time to see the door close in their faces. The Crazy Loft Expedition Special traverses the Swiss landscape, complete with two dirigible balloons, an automobile, an icebox, submarine, and a carload of passengers. Everybody the train, Jungfrau Station. The inhabitants of the country await the coming of the Geographical Society, whose sensational arrival has been heralded. Some freight handlers lower the auto from the train and push it outside the station. The 14 travelers embark in Crazy Loft's impossible carriage decorated with colossal lanterns, a monstrous projector, and a horn of unheard of dimensions. Little time is lost in their journey to the inn. Do not disturb yourselves, said the chauffeur. We are only passing through. Crazyloft increases the pressure and darts on at 300 miles an hour. The carriage leaps over valleys and mountains. The carriage comes to rest at the bottom of a precipice where it is smashed to pieces. Fortunately, a party of guides and mountain climbers come to their head and extricate them from their painful situations. The lame savants are borne away by the guides to a stay of five weeks in the hospital. <laughs> 